be edited last year anyway. Ah, ah. So, let's go. Well, really, the, the work's, um, well, it's, it's all based um, on the Scottish Highlands. Um, I do a lot of walking and climbing, um, sort of uh, go out with my partner and, and various local groups. Um, and uh, with my sight being bad, I have to be guided on the mountains. Um, and uh, I don't really see any detail when I'm out on the hills. I sort of see the, 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 the bigger picture, um, the, the, the areas of light and colour as the, the clouds move across the sky and the, the sun comes out. Um, and so the, the pictures that I do, um, they're, they're based on, on, on the, the little moments when I'm out um, and uh, something sort of catches my fuzzy eye. Um, and I try and sort of uh, produce paintings which, which sort of uh, put over a little bit about the atmosphere, about being in the mountains, in the wild glens, um, when, when perhaps the rain's pouring down or uh, a storm's just passed or, or possibly even uh, sort of on a beautiful day when the colours are really sharp. Or, um, they're, they're very much about, um, yeah, atmosphere. Um, I tell some you know, people that you know, I suppose in the best way to describe them, their impressions of um, the places I visit and, and uh, walk and climb. Um, the, the, the actual works are, are done, um, they're a mixture of uh, acrylic paint and oil pastel. Um, you now this is developed really out of necessity. Um, the, uh, the fact that I can't see very well um, has meant that I had to try and sort of relearn how to how to work. Um, initially, I, I um, decided I'd have to use big brushes and big bold marks with paint because I just can't see well enough to paint fine marks. Um, and that was fine. That's how I started. But I, I really miss drawing, so I used to go out and uh, do a lot of observational drawing, um, sketching, and I can't see well enough to do that now. Um, and so I was missing drawing and it suddenly occurred to me I could scribble, I can still scribble, you don't need to be able to see very much at all to be able to scribble. And so I started doing um, sort of uh, big scribbly drawings, um, just layer upon layer of, of pastel scribbled down um, and gradually pulling out images. Uh, and uh, then as that developed, um, I thought well I could draw into the paint so that I can have the big marks of the paint. Um, and uh, the scribbly lines can, can sort of try and sort of put over some, some idea of detail, even though I can't really see to do a detailed painting. And so, as I said, the work developed out of necessity, um, and uh, gradually they're, 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 they're hopefully becoming a, a much better mix of, of mark, painted mark, and uh, uh, drawn line. Um, and. Uh, each time I, I do a painting, I, I'm trying to get that, that combination um, better, trying to get the colours better uh, and, and the sort of, uh, the, the aesthetic sort of um, uh, uh, quality of, the, of each work um, uh, to a better and higher level.